Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. It's on this card. We go to the last one, right? Or just something yeah. else on yeah, this card? Yeah, let's go to the last one. Go to the last one, which again, the other fight. We got the newly crowned IBF featherweight champion, Luis Alberto Lopez, you know, facing none other than Michael Cotton, who we've just referenced before in our previous preview. Now, Top Rank is wants to get a belt on Michael Collins so fucking bad. So like, bad. Yeah, they really want this dude. Like, I mean, he, I mean, Collin came very close to walking away with the featherweight title against Wood before, you know, he got put to sleep and sent out of the ring, <laughs> you know, on some movie shit. So it's like, yeah, Collin, you know, he, I mean, he's rebound. He's had some good wins. And then Lopez, of course, has been given top rank fighters hell, you know, uh, beating up, of course, I mean, obviously the big, his big, when is uh, beating up Gabriel Flores, a fight that probably should have been stopped too, because Flores was, was should have been KO'd in that fight. And then, you know, that fight is uh, that win led him to go into facing Josh Warrington. And Warrington was again at his most Warrington best, which is uh, oh my god, yeah. that was a close, that was another close fight though. Like, yeah, it, it, war, it, uh, yeah, war, yeah, Warrington tried war, every war. this is why I don't like Warrington. Yeah, he's Warren tried every dirty like, like he the, every Warren, dirty trick. He took out every dirty trick in the book. Like, yeah, and everybody. obviously Warren was so dirty, dirty that Lopez gasped from it because he had to really had to because he had to be hyper moving. He had to move way too much because he could because he couldn't deal with all that dirty shit. And the referee was letting Warren get away with that bullshit too. Like, like it was it was like, weird I, fight. The dude, that, dude, dude at one point literally, literally hit. Um, Lopez with a fight night like headbutt. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, like blatant fight night <laughs> when you hit the head. <laughs> yeah, and, hey. and that's yeah, and that's why I was kind of that's why I was actually low key surprised that they actually gave the fight to Lopez because yeah, like, I awesome. felt Warrington won, but that performance is one of those like you shouldn't be proud of that. Like that, that that's like that that's like that uh, Oquendo Bird performance, like Oquendo. <laughs> Was so rough, like he don't deserve to win no title fighting like that, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I was, I was that surprised. I mean, because because Warden got back into the fight. He made it ugly, but he, you know he did this. But he did. Yeah. He kind of did get back into the fight, you know. And you know, on his home turf, I thought he would have got that. That he know. did, but it's like, good lord, man! It's like you I mean rule book, man. Study that shit sometimes, yo. Nah, <laughs> that's just nah, he knew what the rules were because he never was like that before the lower fight. He wasn't. Yeah. He was always rough. But it was never so blatant, and and honestly, I feel like it's a fear thing. Like, yeah, like you get to you get him to that level, and he just freaks out. Like, ah, like don't yeah. chill. <laughs> like, nah, like that's not cool. But, uh, but uh, enough for him. But um, but yeah, Lopez. Well, what's y'all? What's y'all think about this fight? Like, honest to God, like I, I, I think it's a good fight. But who y'all got winning? I will say this though: if it goes to the card, Collins gonna Collins, win it. Collins, uh, yeah, Lopez is getting screwed. If this yeah, Lopez didn't get screwed. Yeah, expect the robbery. I see this court. going two ways: either it goes to the card and Collins wins because they're gonna give it to him hell or high water, or Lopez knocks him out. Yo, that's Lopez. Lopez has to knock him out. And no, no and Lopez has but I feel like if Lopez knocks him down like three times, they'll give it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if he knocks him down three, four times, hey, honestly, I I wouldn't put it. I'm not gonna put it past Lopez to knock out uh, Colin. He can't. He has the style yeah, to do can. it. It's pretty, it's pretty. He has the pressure and his rhythm, like, is awkward. And that would like for a guy like Colin, who's more trick like with conventional than Warrington. I think Lopez is and what he brings to the table causes Colin a lot more issues, a lot more problems. So. And, I don't know, but and, I could keep, and Colin still gasses out halfway in the fight. He still gasses out. So that's a and Lopez, like I said, Lopez, I mean the Warrington fight an aberration, you know, can go a good 10, 12 rounds. Like, you know. So and because Colin does not Colin's not gonna bring the type of pressure that Warrington does. Colin doesn't really bring a lot of pressure, really. No, he doesn't. You know yeah. what? You know what? Screw it. Lopez knockout. Tenth round yeah. knockout. Like, Lopez, yeah. like like Colin got fast hands and he'll box with you, but he kind of like he, he does bring a little pressure, but it's a different type. It's more of a, a boxing pressure. It's not something where he's constantly beating down your door with pressure and and with power shots. He's more giving you some jabs, movement, 
and then a big hook or right hand is gonna come. He's like a less angry Oscar Valdez, but, <laughs> but could box on the back foot better. Right. You know, like, yeah. honestly, and, and that's not a bad style, but yeah, I don't know how good it's gonna work for against a guy like Lopez, who's awkward himself, has power, and can be aggressive. Like, it, yeah. it's a really, it's a close fight. I, this is a real good action fight, actually. I, I mean, on odds wise, Colin is the slight underdog at minus one twenty eight. Oh, excuse me, no, Colin is the favorite at minus one twenty eight. Yeah, I'm about to say, like, I knew that would make Colin the favorite, bro. Yeah, L- Lopez is the underdog at plus one hundred. And then we're talking about methods of victory. A points victory for Lopez is plus 230. A KO for Lopez is plus 380. A draw is 1600. Uh, Colin points is plus 130. And Colin KO is plus 600. So, so they can see a Lopez KO, but they can I, barely I see a... I think both fights are on again, the, at the same Colin. exact time. Because they're both UK fights, you know what I'm saying? So they're going to be yeah. on at the same fucking time, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, but and like I said, I mean, I, I feel that Lopez is I mean, Lopez is going to drown Colin. Like, like once, once, once you start hitting the seventh, and eighth, Colin's going to fade. And I think Colin, I think Lopez is going to step it up like he did in the Flores fight, and he's got constantly he's going to put his foot in his ass. Like Colin probably won't hear the bell for ten. Like I, I'm, that's what that's why because yeah, even fights that Colin is in control of, he even gasses a little because he did that. Yeah, even if he's in control of the fight, he's gonna lose it eventually late. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And and depending to- on the opponent and the opponent's pressure, it could be either like he looks bad or mid or whatever, but you know he's gonna get hit more or look less impactful in the in the right. damn last three, four rounds. So Right. So what about you, LB? Uh fuck. I mean, Lopez would literally have to win a like KO. You know, I, I think Lopez gonna get him out of there. Ninth round KO. Word. P. What about you? I said tenth round. Oh, you said tenth round. Okay. Yeah. Pilot. Uh, Colin will win a decision. Oh, you going? Know, okay, okay, all right. Wow. Wow. If, it goes, if, it goes to the cards, if it goes to the cards, he's not losing this decision, yeah. especially with Katie Taylor losing. Both of them are losing. He's yeah. Irish, right? He's Irish, not he's, yeah, he's Irish. Irish. Northern yeah. Ireland, yeah. But yeah. he's not losing this if it goes to the cards. You know yeah. it. I, well, I got Kylan on the cards as well. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga right here. This. Yeah, 126 <laughs> is lit. 126, you know, there's got to be a collision course eventually. You know, now, now, let's put this If Kylan knocks out Lopez, I won't be too surprised. <laughs> Kylan, Kylan does have <laughs> underrated pop. Like, he, yeah. he, he can't hurt you. You know, but yeah, he lands uh, clean. I, I think it's I think it's that he puts his punches together well more than he has like big pop. Like it's different. Like right? you get what well, I'm saying. Well, that helps pop. <laughs> yeah. When you when, see, that's the thing. It's like there's certain things that you could do as a puncher. That there's certain things that you could do that help your punching ability go up. If you know, if you put punches together well, meaning. You know when a guy is dipping into a shot, when to run him into something, or mm-hmm. when to place an uppercut when you should, or an overhand right when you should. That that increases your punching power, like because that's timing and and catching a nigga when he don't think he's gonna get caught. So he is underrated in that sense. Like that does make your you know the pop on your individual punches go up. Right. Like out of one through ten, I would say Conlon punches at about a seven. Yeah, that's yeah. Like it's it's above average, but it's not enough to where I'ma say he's a big puncher, but he's solid. Like yeah, it's his speed it, I think it, fucks you up. And he's low key explosive too. I mean that's I mean that's that's, yes. that's I mean that's basically how he dropped Leewood. Leewood probably did not, not see that left coming, you know, because it, it was so it was it was so fast. You know, yeah. so when you, when you when you place your punches well and you're explosive and you got quick hands, mm-hmm. yeah, you're definitely it's gonna translate in the pop. Cause, cause niggas gonna be like, hmm, hmm, hmm. oh shit, like, yeah. And, well, and if you don't have no defense, if you don't move your head, it's like a nigga throwing a rock at you or some shit. Right. Like, see how Lee Wood got caught? Like, like, yeah. wow, like, yeah. So, I mean, but pretty much, I'd say though, Lee, um, Lopez is gonna have to drop Colin at least maybe four times, three, four times, you know, because if it goes a distance and he doesn't drop him that many times, yeah, he's, he's gonna get Colin's gonna get the belt. He's gonna, he's going to, he's gonna, he's gonna win. They gonna milk that fucking belt. 
Dude, I'm telling you, like, yeah, if you want to say that belt and get some good fights out of that belt, you better hope Lopez win. Yeah, like Lopez, like Lopez, like I mean, obviously, I mean, if Lopez drops him four times without getting knocked on himself, he's won. It's, it's the best. The best you can do is a draw, or or he wins. Like, there's no. Yeah. Yeah, like, and that that, that that's what you have to do because. You can because you you can, you you can only cook the card so much because after a number like one two you can cook it for Colin three you can sort of do it depending but four you can't really do it because that's just that's yeah just, but hey this is boxing these niggas cook up a new recipe every every weekend right yeah I mean four times is pretty much that, that cuts eight to four to four feet four <laughs> piece so it's like yeah, these try. niggas will try yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'd say like I'd say really watch the watch the fuckery go down, it, it, and but of course you know Colin can outbox him, but you know we'll see how that goes. Like you know, because if you make it, if you make Colin expend too much energy, then you know you know that gas tank start you know that energy bar start looking orangish. Yeah, <laughs> right. You know a little, little red get in there, a little amber alert. I mean, so but it's a good fight. Wow. Um, Probably watch it then. Yes, watch that first. I ain't yeah, I mean, think, I'm, I mean cause... I'm pretty sure. I mean, one. I mean, I'm gonna watch both because it's both in the afternoon. Both going on, but yeah. But Featherweight will definitely be on display next weekend. So, and they are, in, you know, they are good fights because those fights will move to. The, I mean, well, honestly, Laura. If Laura wins, you know, he should probably. He'll probably I mean, he should be able to leave match room, but we'll see what Eddie puts him through. You know, and meanwhile, of course, the Colin. Colin gets if Colin gets brutally knocked out again. Then you probably need, you probably need to really start looking at what to do with him in the future because uh, you can't have Colin getting brutally knocked out again. <laughs> so, he in a division that's popping where there's going to be tough fights. So it's either that or go back, it's, it's, it's either that or go back to 122 because that's where he was before. A top rank kind of moved him up for whatever reason. So it's like yeah, he wasn't good at 122. Like, can he even still make 122? Yeah, he look. He can't make one to, like, bro. Like, he 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 had to eventually move up to one twenty six. Is this one of those? You're either gonna improve with the weight movement, or you're gonna lose. Right. So I mean, yeah, I mean, but yeah, so, you know, nothing else to it. <laughs> yeah, let's like say you know, those are the, those are some, those are some, um, supposed to be some good fights this weekend. So you know, a little, little, little appetizer. You know, for the afternoon or whatever, and just a quick mention. You know, the zone will have one in the evening with Alexis Rocha and Anthony Young. So, I mean, Golden Boy usually puts together, you know, entertaining cards for the most part. So, if you're not doing anything, I probably will have something going on in the evening myself. Okay, you know, hey, you can go, you can always catch that too. This um, one they seem to try on it. They, they tried a little bit, you know, with the names, yeah. but because the past few Golden Boy cards, they didn't even give a fuck. They're throwing out anybody in that motherfucker. And they was it would still be entertaining, but it's it was like, still entertaining, yeah. It was still but with this kind of weekend, it's like everybody's gonna them spend their time watching boxing in the early afternoon, evening, and then go out at you know at night because it's like all right, we got the real boxing out the way. I'll catch this bullshit tomorrow morning. Type well, except for Pilot, Pilot would be like you know Pilot, that'll be like the beginning of his afternoon when the yeah. Shit comes. <laughs> so it's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Shit, I got but, a whole yeah. it's a brand but, um, new day. But yeah, you know, I think that's I think that's it for our show tonight. You know, we hit everything and whatnot. You know, I mean, you know, the comments were commenting and all that stuff, with, especially with the two trolls that were kind of reading have like, one with the racist name, which I didn't even got to think of. But yeah, until he pointed that shit out, I'm like, yeah, it's like, you know, cause I, I didn't sign that shit out in my head though. But yeah, like, yeah, even should have been it's a first and last name. Yeah, but uh, yeah, let's get some final thoughts and so we can get up out of there because I know I'm having a little food craving too. So, uh, yeah, LB, man, your final thoughts? Uh, my final thought is, um, yo, man, niggas got to start putting re- respect on boxing, son. Like, that little interview with Chad Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson. With oh, yeah, I saw that Charlo, shit. That shit was ridiculous. And I like how Charlo just really talked to that nigga on some, like, yeah, and I'll, I'll drop everything and go to your gym and beat your ass. Like, mm-hmm. Like and and he's like he's like no you wouldn't he's like he like you won't have a choice like <laughs> like honestly like the way people look at wild animals like if you fall into a tiger cage you don't say <laughs> well yeah uh yeah that tiger ain't gonna fuck me up like no you don't have a choice like and literally that's what happens with a boxer or anyone who's 
learn how to beat your ass with their hands or any part of their body like mm -hmm. you're not really gonna have a choice like you might go in there and you'll have your gloves on you might throw a few punches and you know you'll have your illusion of a choice mm -hmm. but you know you're not gonna have a choice when it comes down to it you're just gonna pray that this nigga stops beating your ass right <laughs> or you fall apart before and you're done like the worst type of knockout they get is a Tyson Pinkleton Thomas because you're you're aware that you're getting your ass whooped and when you finally drop all you feel is pain because you're not even completely knocked out mm -hmm. so please put respect on boxing name like y'all gotta stop taking y'all could take a few lessons and then y'all nice like that I don't and, and this is the thing Chad from what I've seen Chad ain't even nice like that no he ain't like dude like the dude i'm training now like went to school with greg hardy nigga like <laughs> bro, i was telling him like yo like he boxes now and he had the fight he's like oh word what really <laughs> bro, bro, i play ball with that nigga this that that like oh man like so yeah man y'all gotta like y'all might be the shit in your other sports that's cool there's respect and and charlo even said like that's like saying I could like stop you from getting touchdowns or whatever the fuck the football analogy he had. <laughs> like boxers, we respect what y'all do, but for some reason, since fighting is primal, y'all think y'all could just do what boxers do. And better. Like y'all could just literally be on like, yeah, you know, I could be the nigga ass who been training half his life. Yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. No, no, no. So <laughs> and that's that's the message I really wanna get off for like people out there you know no problem learn the box get good but everyone has a ceiling i mean right like know your place bro and just be respectful with it like no one wants a motherfucker who's at that level even though jamal charlo's inactive a motherfucker at that level does not want to hear a nigga from another sport or a random citizen civilian motherfucker come off the street and be like Yo, man, I can't wait to spar. I think I could really get go at you. This, that, that. And you ain't got no fucking proof to show that, yeah, you could. It's just you saying this shit. Right. Because, like I said before, like the, the times in the past where it's gone past that into the actual ring, like the boxer 100% of the time puts the foot in the ass. Like, that's that's how it goes. Don't, don't let this YouTube shit get you fucked up. Like, remember, them YouTube niggas is fighting niggas on their level. You're not gonna have no fucking Jamal Charlo entertain this bullshit with y'all. Like you shouldn't want to. Y'all want one of the y'all really trying to anger one of the angriest fucking boxers in the sport, really? That's a yeah. horrible idea. Yeah. Like horrible idea. Like that's why I said like like literally just jump in the tiger cage. <laughs> Honestly, if you give a nigga a knife and give him in a tiger cage and you might have a better chance than him putting on gloves going against Jamal Charlo. Right, <laughs> like he literally might like I don't know like, and he might could throw the knife real hard. Uh, the tiger lands on him and he impales it. I don't know, bro, but it just seems like you just go get your ass whooped if you put on gloves and you get it. And someone puts you in a room with a world class boxer, or <laughs> amateur, or anybody who got just fucking hands, nigga. I like, mean, I mean, at least if you put you in a cage with a tiger, the tiger might just be. Not hungry, sleepy, tired. You're like, yeah, I don't feel like dealing with you. You're not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, but you know Jamal Charlo's gonna be angry. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> like you, 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 you're only gonna get one Jamal Charlo. So fuck that. Like the tiger, but just like with the shark, throw him in the shark tank. You know what I'm saying? Nigga might have ate that day. He had a seal or two. He good. So, but yeah, that's all I got to say, man. Like, I I don't know what we gonna be on this week for the music. If not, we might have a rant or something. We'll see what's good. But yeah, y'all. Yeah, I mean, I mean, last rant episode was, was maybe you know, maybe a trip to the bodega. You never know. Hey, so Pete, your yeah. final thoughts? Man, great week of boxing. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. Uh, it's great, like you know, because what I'll say is this. Um. There's always it's always great when we get boxing because there are people that like boxing and there are people that like events and it's great when you can get both boxing and an event and put it together and everybody's happy and it's a win-win for everyone and 
this weekend to me was that weekend. I don't think anybody left home unhappy with the event. They might be unhappy with the results, but they were happy with the event. Right. And so let's give us like give us more of that. Give us boxing. Give us events. Give it all in one. Why why one or the other? Why not both? Both is good. So you know, I, I was thoroughly happy with this weekend. So let's hope we can get more weekends like this in the future. So you know, saying shout out to boxing because when boxing wins, we win. When boxing wins, ring gang wins. Yes, sir. I mean, we winners anyway. We always we always win in it, whatever. So, but ring gang is at its best when boxing is at its best. So, you know, that's all cool. I got to say about that. You know where to find us at ringgangradio.com, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You already know what it is. We're AO Pilot, you know, aka Close Fights are on a robbery. What's your final thoughts? Yeah, the name says it all, you know. Shouts out to everybody, Ring Gang Radio, all the comments, even the trolls. Um, Spaniard, French, European, weird. Anyways, but you know, <laughs> like to follow up with what, what King P said, you know, like boxing, for better or for worse, we had two memorable weekends of boxing that we, that'll be etched in the history books. I feel like you know what I'm saying undisputed. Got a 140, one of the worst stoppages we ever seen. But boxing's thriving as long as y'all keep you know giving it the proper just do like we are. And you, you know what? Check us out at ringerradio.com. Every platform imaginable. Appreciate y'all. We'll be back next week. Maybe even this week. I don't know. Well, this week. We'll be back this week. We'll be back this week. Yeah, yeah. We'll be back damn, like, damn, nigga. Did you not just do a whole two-hour two podcast talking about when we'll right, be back? Right. I don't know. Like, <laughs> we ran. We God ran. Damn, the trolls seem to be... Peace out, Miss Bitch. Yeah, the, the fucking trolls are we're going ham. A.O. Romeo, your, your, your final thought. Yeah, uh, LeBron, shout out to LeBron, nigga. He, he tried his hardest, but Anthony Davis, nigga, you sorry as fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's my final thoughts, nigga. <laughs> Austin Reeves, you should have did better, too, nigga. Yeah, I, I guess I got, I guess I got to watch the highlights of this, of this, of this game later. You know, it's like, because my TV was off. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, I mean, my final thoughts are pretty much, man, you know, let's say, you know, ring gang is, you know, we still, still, we still the squad, man. Shout out to everyone commenting. Uh, trolls, man. You know, you're, you know, you know, luckily, of course, you know, Miss Bitch has just been, you know, that's just an annoying troll. But that, uh, the whole, uh, the Enger person, you know, it's like, yeah, like I, you know, I should have removed you, but, you know, you know, it is what it, but at least if you, if you guys, yeah, you know, but it is what it is, man. But, hey, you know, the more you comment, the more traffic it brings. So that's what it's all about. So, yeah, shout out to the whole crew. Shout out to boxing. Uh, yes, yeah, so, you know, and people, you know, there's no need to try to turn fucking Haney Lomachenko into fucking Jack Johnson, Jim Jeffries in 1910. Like, stop that <laughs> shit. You know, like, you know, y'all need to, y'all need to cut that shit out. Like, you know, can you just like, enjoy a good fight, a good event? Like, yeah, like, like, and, learn, and like, if you want to know robbery, there's been other robberies. Like, I mean, it, it yeah. warmed my heart because, you know, I was just, I said in the chat earlier when someone brought up um, the fight between Joel Casamo, uh, Casamayor and LSC's older brother, Jose Santa Cruz, that fight, and that fight was a, you know, Dan Raphael said that was, yeah. the, that was the worst robbery he had ever seen. He was there for Pacquiao Bradley won. And I was like, yeah, that that's a, if you ever watch that fucking fight, that is a fucking robbery and a half. Like, you know. The thing is, the fight was boring and not memorable. And Casimir <laughs> was on his way out or whatever. So. Yeah, Casimir pretty much lost every fucking round clear. Like, yeah. That's the, that, was the, that was the worst. And they still game. gave him the fight. Yeah, like, he still gave him the fight. That's a fucking, you know, that was like a. Well, I was like, what the fuck? But yeah, learn what? Like, there's some real robberies. But I, I feel like Casimir Yor, I'm sorry, like, mm-hmm. but I feel like Casimir Yor has, like, he's had close decisions go against him. So, but I hate it has to be a, a fight that blatantly he lose where they decide to give it to him. Like, yeah. Like, I thought he'd be Castillo, but they gave they gave that to, uh, what's his name? Castillo. Yeah, exactly. I thought he'd be Freitas. Yeah, you got the well, that, was, that was a close fight, though. That was a really close fight. Both were close, but I still felt like, and I think he got the point deducted, right? But yeah, I still felt he, Casimir beat both them niggas. Yeah, I mean the Freitas fight was he got jerked, like yeah. I, I, yeah, I actually haven't. Watched at that. least he should have a victory over at least one of those. I, I thought, I thought he beat Freitas, so. But yeah, I didn't. I, I thought he beat both of them niggas, but. 
to have him lose to both of them, like, come on, like, no, because no, I, Castillo ain't get it going until like the eighth round. I, 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 I haven't watched the Castillo one in a while, but I felt like the Freitas one was to me was more egregious. Like I felt yeah. like I come, I came away feeling like he definitely beat Freitas. Yeah, he he ended it strong. Like yeah, so so I I get it, but it just cause, again, I'm a Casemiro fan, but still, like that that robbery was was horrible. And, and of course, I, I can never forget. I can. I have to mention before that. Obviously, the Kid Diamond fight with him and, and Kid Diamond. That one was a kind. That one was that was a pretty much a robbery too. Like you know, I mean, that was a draw too. Though no one lost though. But, yeah. But Casemiro did. He he didn't beat no Kid Diamond. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why like Casemiro had a lot of these fucking fights in his career. But they give it to him with these past. And see, this is the thing I hate that they do in boxing. They start rewarding niggas on a pension plan type shit. Like you start giving Casemiro these wins over prospects. Like y'all was trying to give him a severance pay so he could give one last big payday. I mean, it's a, it's essentially it's essentially the Oscar treatment. How they gave like how they would give actors Oscars like years afterwards, like like almost like a lifetime achievement when you yeah. should have gotten it earlier and you jerked them and you're like, you know what? We'll pay it for. <laughs> yeah, because Oscar with, with fucking Denzel and Training Day, like Training Day is cool, but I mean Oscar, come on, really, like over Malcolm X, like yeah, he should have won it for Malcolm, but they had to give it to uh, D- uh, Pacino because they had jerked Pacino for Godfather Two. So like, okay, you know what? We'll pay it forward, and so it, the, the cycle always goes on. It's annoying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. That's that's the last tangent ram. Yeah, that's it, 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 it came from a real place. Get these decisions right the first time. Get these decisions right the first time. Yeah, get get these niggas they just do they they flowers the first time, like the right f- time, like shit. Cause you throw up the whole sport and awards and all that shit when niggas is getting ten years late. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Learn what a robbery is and you know, judges. Try not to, you know, because like I said, you like you literally have their careers and you, the, the fighters' careers in your hands, and you're scoring hands and you're scoring sheet. So yeah, just be more cognizant of the fact. Um, but yeah, no, this, this was this was a good cast, man. And yeah, we'll we'll definitely be back later on this week on thir- on Thursday for another rant. Or you never know, man, because like I said, that other last that other last rant was hitting. Like I, I, I was I uploaded that shit today, and that shit was. Fucking hilarious! And just listen, listen to that shit again. So yeah, y'all check out all the rant episodes, man. We we do that. So for myself, you know, Pat Scorpio, the New England representer. For LB Shuttleworth, the God the Go artist. For King P Bodega P. For Conscious Pilot and for Rome Top Five, aka Chicago, a Chicago win. Uh, it's been another wonderful episode of Real Talk. Where as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So until next time, peace. <laughs>